All right, hello. Welcome to DNKS Legacy Productions. Right now, I'm playing around with vMix with two camera inputs. What? <laughs> Those two cameras are two ATEM extremes. And one is an ATEM mini extreme. And one is an ATEM mini extreme ISO. Um, as you can see right here, this one is the control panel for the mobile, the ATEM mini extreme, which is my mobile camera. I mean, my, multi, my mobile mini extreme, if you've been watching this channel, you know what I'm talking about. And this is the ATEM SDI extreme ISO. So I actually have 16 inputs into vMix doing it this way. Um, and vMix only sees two cameras. As you can see right here, this is the ATEM Mini Extreme SDI, and this is the ATEM Mini Extreme HDMI. Okay, there's eight HDMI out inputs on this one, and there's eight SDI inputs on this one. That's natively, um, but what I have done on my ATEM Mini. Let's switch over. Is for my ATEM Mini, which is right there. That's my ATEM Mini Extreme. Uh, that's the one I put in a box for remote productions. It actually has, instead of um, natively, it comes with eight. HDMI inputs, but I actually have gotten, I actually purchased eight HDMI to SDI converters for the input. Well, they're SDI to HDMI, so that I have five SDI inputs coming in on this computer, on this uh, ATEM, and they're converted to HDMI. So this has five, basically now it has five SDI inputs on here. And then I kept three of the inputs native HDMI. That was so when I'm on a remote site, I can have the length of the SDI um, cables and being able to get a good picture and sound and all of that and have the HDMI for inputs from presenters and stuff like that. And then on my system that I have here, as the uh, SDI ISO, this is an Iraq system which is a little bit different and that's the system that's the controls for all of that although i can control it from the laptop as i showed earlier i have the um that system i actually added uh kept six sdi inputs and turn with using converters i use i have two hdmi inputs on that system and let's go switch back to me so alone each one does um a mix of sdi and hdmi <clears throat> and that's so i can have the flexibility of having long cable runs for inputs from cameras uh, using SDI, and then I can also have HDMI for presentations, any kind of presentations the presenter or whoever needs. I can 
bring all of that in. And actually, I can do playback and all kinds of stuff with the HDMI input. So I wanted to have a combination of both with both machines. So each one has either two or three other opposite inputs. It has the both of them now because of the modifications, not modifications I made, but well, modifications in the setup of how they work. Um, both all both of them now do SDI inputs. Uh, that I did because before they came out with the SDI, they didn't have an a a to mini extreme that did SDI, and most of my stuff is based on SDI because of the type of stuff I do. I need the longer cable run, so um, I converted the original a to mini extreme to do SDI on five channels and HDMI on three. And then when I got the SDI, which was great, but I also still needed wanted to be able to put HDMI inputs into that because most people, when they're doing presentations on their laptop and stuff, that doesn't come with um, SDI outputs laptops come with hdmi outputs and most of basically uses um uh, hdmi outputs so um that's why i changed converted using converters two of those inputs into hdmi so i when i'm at a site i because that even though that's a rack system it's on wheels and it is mobile so i can actually and i have done it before not in this rack, but when it was in another rack, I have actually taken the whole rack and taken it to the site where I needed to run it and run the, um, so I had my whole control system. That was before I got the stuff in the box. I used to have the original ATEM TV, which was SDI and HDMI. So I, I used to have that in there and I used that. So I, I've been on a SDI HDMI split um, system for a long time, but that is not the exciting part. And the exciting part is this, the ability right now, I have the SDI, no, not the SDI. The yeah, well, the extreme SDI coming in on one channel, and this extreme HDMI coming on another channel. So I have basically sixteen inputs running in my into vMix without the overhead, the strain on my computer for having all of those sixteen inputs on sixteen different capture cards. Um, that would make it very hard to handle and i don't well you'd have to have a, a desktop and get the uh black magic cells the uh capture cards to have the and i you have to have a bunch of capture cards that you can put in that can do multiple inputs and put put that on a desktop so I, you can do that but this makes it a lot easier and i don't know how many inputs I could do that way but this is two ATEM minis extremes going into vmix and <laughs> I think that's great I I I'm in a uh process of uh reconfiguring my studio and I'm since I got the ISO, the SDI ISO, that is going to be my main studio um, computer. And the mobile studio, the one in the case, that is going to be my main uh, studio for doing remote events. Uh, I was, before I got the SDI ISO, I was using that, even though it's mobile, it's in the case, 
I was using that as my main studio mixer. Uh, because I had the original ATEM Mini Pro. And it only it has four inputs, but from a lot of the stuff that I was doing, four inputs was more than enough. They were all HDMI, but with converters, I could actually um, still use SDI. I just had some SDI converters that both ways, HDMI to SDI and then SDI back to HDMI, I would take, I have four sets of those and I could still use that as an SDI input and output well not input and output but input when i need it and that was fine for a lot of the things i was doing because a lot of stuff that i was doing um for my projects of late were two camera projects and single camera projects and i rarely used four cameras with that system but then um that is not very flexible, and I have done some things lately where I needed more than four inputs on the ATEM. So um, that's where I'm going to start using the the extreme mobile unit, and I'm going to start using that and. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to retire to uh, ATEM Mini Pro because it's convenient, but it's not any more convenient for me to take that than it is to take the Extreme because the Extreme is in the same exact case. It's just the cutout on the front is a little bit different because of the length of the Extreme, but it's in the same exact case. So it's just as easy for me to put that with my equipment as it is for the um, Mini Pro. And it also not only allows me to have more inputs, but more flexibility with my outputs. And um, also, I can have that go into my laptop and record at the same time because it has two um, Type C outputs. So one go can go into the computer. I like guess like they're doing right now, and I can use that as my feed to vMix, and then I can still record, which I do all the time. Oh, no, I'm not recording this right now, but there's a there's the hard drive. I usually I can record the raw footage on the ATEM. And record my and record the footage on VMix. So um, let me get a close up and you can see that's the input right now. That can be recording on VMix. That has all of my graphics and all of that stuff on there. That's the raw footage of the same exact thing into the ATEM with no graphics. So if and actually, I didn't even want that graphic up there. I wasn't paying attention, but it's cool. Because um, this was meant to be just an experiment, and I decided to turn it into a video. But um, move back to where I was. But, and I want to turn that off. Turn overlay two off, turn overlay one on. But now, oh, and then let's switch to the other ATEM. The other ATEM right now, I don't have any cameras hooked up to it. So all I can really do right now is turn on and off my um, DVE keys, uh, DSKs uh downstream keyers um because just in order just so you can get a picture of what's coming through instead of just having a black screen coming through i use that as my pictures for right now that way i can see that the signal is coming through and it's being recorded and that everything is working 
because I didn't want to split the camera. I don't. I just didn't want to split the cameras up and have a lot more switching. Um, I just want to split the cameras up for now. So uh, I had a way to make sure I had a signal, good, clean signal coming through, and so that's what I did. So eventually, the SDI ATEM is going to be my main driver for the studio. And then the mobile studio is going to be, the mobile extreme is going to be for what it's meant to be, mobile, for all of my mobile events. So this is going to work out pretty good. And I'll give you guys a tour of um, the new studio setup when it's done. But yeah, this is going to be, this is pretty good because, um, and that's the other thing. I may, I don't know, I'm probably, since I can do this, and I, this is basically a proof of concept video, I will probably, instead of retiring, um, since I have two mobile setups, um, it won't be the same as having 16, um, 16 inputs, but I will have, well, I can go out and set up with 12 inputs. So this allows me a lot more flexibility. And um, especially with super source, I can have super sourcing on the extreme. That's another thing that the extreme has over the, um, over the pro. But with vMix, I can do the super sourcing through vMix. And uh, with the two mobile studios i can put as many as eight people up with the uh with the mobile the extreme and the pro i can put five people up so that allows me a lot more flexibility and i can set up my super sources and things like that with um the v mix i don't have to use the uh either one of the extremes but it 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 allows me a whole lot of flexibility and i've been preaching about the flexibility of using vmix and the atem together but this is taking it a step further um you can get real complicated with some of the stuff i just going through my head i would need it the more you can do the more complicated it will be and you'd have to have more than one person running the system but that's fine because on bigger projects the more we can do the better so like i said this is just a proof of concept and to make sure i can do it and i'm happy with the results the flexibility of a atem by black magic and vmix it exponentially increases the amount of cameras you can input in the vmix all right thanks for watching y'all have a great day wherever you are whatever time it is peace